said he did his very first public miracle, turning the water into wine. As if that isn't enough for you to see that God ordained this wonderful union, we see that Jesus Christ, the one, uh, the lover of our souls, calls himself the heavenly bridegroom. And the church, those who love, love Jesus Christ, are called the bride. And one day together, just like in a half hour or so, we're going to eat a, a meal together. We're going to eat the marriage supper of the Lamb together, the bride and the bridegroom forever and forever. Just like today, they'll be together and kept until death do them part. What a beautiful picture we have. So therefore, since God ordained this union, we don't enter it uh, irreverently. We don't enter it. We enter it very solemnly. We enter it very discreetly. We enter it with the reverence about it because it's a very holy union. Because God ordained it. So today, we will see and we will trust that they will feel and sense that it's not just Stephen and Paul joining together, but it is God who joins them together. So therefore, it's a wonderful union that God ordained and that God bless this union who gives this woman to be married to this man? I start our heads in a word of prayer this evening. Father, we thank you again for this beautiful day. And truly, it is a gorgeous day. And this is, you've made this day, and we are rejoicing, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, as we continue on, I trust that 
and Stephen and Nicole. Right now, inside their innermost being, they will know that they'll know that they'll know that you, you created them for one another. And they'll know that you're putting your stamp, your final stamp of approval on this union, bringing them together, the two becoming one. May they even experience it, and though they won't be able to explain it, but may they know that they know that it is you today who hovers over them and lives within them and desires to walk with them all the days of their life. I trust, Lord, today you'll make these vows just a real to all of us. May we have a great time together, and may it be blessed of you from now until evermore. And we ask in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. This time a friend of the bride and groom, Lynn, is going to come and bless us with a wonderful scripture reading. Set a basis not only for today, but the rest of their lives together. And we give blessings with the scripture reading. themselves as the bride and groom bring them closer together. 